I was just wanting to do our weekly chat. Um, I'm right at the farm today. It's a little chilly today, a little windy, but I thought I'd still come out and see how the babies are doing. Uh, we now have two new foals. Uh, you've already met the one that was named COVID, and now we have one more that I'll introduce you to in a minute. But before that, I wanted to read you a little story, um, something I found that has to do with what we've been celebrating this week, which as you should know, was Easter. So let me read you this little story. It says, this is a happy day, isn't it? I wonder who can tell me what makes today so special. Well, actually we celebrated it on Sunday, didn't we? What did we celebrate on Sunday? Hopefully you guys remember it was Easter, that's right. It was Easter. We celebrated that Jesus has rose from the grave. Since today is a happy day and a happy week, I wanna see a happy face. So I'm trusting you that you're gonna do the faces as I do the story, because I can't see you like I normally do in children's church. So I'm trusting that you're gonna do it. Okay, so our faces show us the way that we feel, right? Well, let me see a face you would make when you're sad. Yeah, I don't do a very good sad face. <laughs> How would you make a face if you were surprised? I was surprised when I came to the farm the other day and the new baby foal was here. And I was like, oh, that was my surprise face, right? What about when you're afraid? Sometimes I get scared. I make a afraid face, right? Or when you're angry. I know your parents have seen this face before. What kind of face do you make when you're angry? <laughs> Some of you, I've seen it, okay? So don't even pretend you don't have an angry face. All right, well, as I do our little quick story today, I want you to make the faces as I do it, okay? All right, it was early in the morning on the first day of the week when some women went to visit the tomb where their friend Jesus had been buried. He had been crucified on a cross and buried in a borrowed tomb and the women were going to put spices on his body. The women were very sad as they went to the tomb. When they arrived at the tomb, the women discovered that the stone that had covered the tomb, the entrance had been rolled away. Can you imagine the look of surprise on their faces when they saw the open tomb? Well, then when they looked inside the tomb, they had an either bigger surprise. The tomb was empty. Suddenly, surprise turned to fear as two men in bright shining clothes came and stood beside the women. In their fright, they bowed down their faces to the ground. The men spoke to the women and said, Jesus is not here, he has risen. Don't you remember what he told you when he was in Galilee? Then the women remembered what Jesus had told them and they were no longer afraid. Their fear turned to happiness and they went back and told Jesus' disciples what they had seen and that Jesus had risen just as he had told them he would. What a happy day. You and I have reason to be happy today, this week and every week, don't we? We're happy because we know that Jesus rose from the grave and that he lives forever. But we're also happy because we know that the Bible tells us that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Now that is something to be happy about, isn't it? So I should see all of your happy faces when we get back to Children's Treehouse Room as we celebrate Easter, not just this week, but every single week. So let's go ahead and say a prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for the chance that we have this week to celebrate your resurrection, but help us to remember to celebrate this every day, every week, not just during Easter. Help us to remember that we have a joy in knowing that you are alive, you have risen, and we serve a God that is not dead, but is alive. And I thank you for that. And I thank you for each one of these children this week. I pray that they are having an awesome week and I pray that you'll continue to help them in all the things that they are doing. In your holy name I pray, amen. Okay guys, here's COVID. Emma and Sam named her. She's been our first baby to be born at the farm this year. And that's her mama bro broke neck. COVID is doing fine. She's growing up already a little bit bigger. She's getting those long legs. Let me see if I can get around so you can see, get a better look at her. There she is. She's going to go milk, get some milk from her mama. Good girl. And here's our newest baby. She was born this past week. She doesn't have a name yet, but that's Poppy's little girl. 
So we have another girl at the farm. Isn't she cutie? Look at her little tail. Such a cutie. Well guys, that's it for today's message. I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I hope to see you again really soon. Be good and keep praying and I'll see you next week. Love y'all. Bye.